It was an extraordinarily public duel for a former and a current vice president. Dick Cheney's a, a fine fellow. He's entitled to his own opinions. He's not entitled to rewrite history. Former Vice President Dick Cheney has charged repeatedly that the current administration isn't taking al-Qaeda seriously. To say that, you know, that was a big attack we had on 9-11, but it's not likely again. I just think that's dead wrong. From Vancouver, Vice President Joe Biden hit back. The reason why I do not think it's likely is because of all the resources we have put on this, considerably more than the last administration did, to see to it that it will not happen. Mr. Biden said last week that under President Obama, 12 of al-Qaeda's top 20 leaders and 100 associates have been killed. To bolster the administration's claim that it's doing more than Mr. Bush did to target terrorists, White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs tweeted this article today, detailing a stepped-up campaign. Mr. Cheney did not dispute that, but he took issue with the Obama administration's current plan to try terror suspects in federal, not military, court. We are at war, not dealing with criminal acts. The reply? We did exactly what he did with the shoe bomber, Richard Reeve. Exactly what he did. And a rare concession. Mr. Cheney admitted the Bush White House had also been leaning toward federal trials for other Guantanamo suspects, which was not his choice. I want some, I lost some. That didn't stop the former vice president from criticizing new limits on how enemy combatants are to be interrogated, including his own administration's decision to exclude waterboarding. I think you ought to have all of those capabilities on the table. That's Dick Cheney. I mean, thank God the, the last administration didn't listen to him at the end. On Iraq, Mr. Biden said the Obama White House's greatest achievement will be leaving that country responsibly. Mr. Cheney countered that was the plan all along. There was one moment of agreement. The former vice president praised the current surge in Afghanistan. Russ? Kimberly Dozier in Washington. Thank you very much.